Hello everyone, that's that is that's my pizza once again, and I'm here for some more Apex Arena and Langris removal. Uh, so today I'll be reviewing the top eight round uh, match between B Guy and Winston, and yeah, let's just dive into it. Uh, but well, before that, uh, I'm probably just gonna cover this one this one series of matches because I'm feeling a little bit tired and it's a bit late where I am. In any case, let's dive in. All right, so let's see what's going on over here. So B guy is using his kind of standard setup with pretty some pretty meta stuff though. Oboro's in there, and so is Ka Ka Kagura, and then uh, uh, Emperor Ares. While Winston has a lot of meta stuff. Uh, it looks like he is has no healer. Oh, he has two healers in his box. Never mind. But he has Alicia in here for some reason. But yeah. Still pretty much doing the same stuff. And then B-Guy bans out uh, Neo Zerda and is pro uh, picks up his own Neo Zerda. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. So Winston bans out um, Neo Alma and him. And then Winston picks up King Toki. And Lostum and Wadham are banned out. And then Lostum is picked here because he's actually pretty good on this map. Uh, B-Guy uh, loses... Um, Speed buff and yeah, speed buff and uh, Lucretia support, and then uh, Winston picks up a uh, Neo uh, Alma. Winston loses uh, Lucretia and um, Rosen Seal and Lucretia, and then B Guy picks up uh, Die Heart to potentially pick off um, to pick off um, Gintoki, but Gintoki can also run uh, Phalanxes, so it's not a huge deal. McLean is picked up to slow down B guy. And then loses Die Hard and Sherry. And then Kagura goes down. Interesting. So, yeah. Okay, and then loses his Sherry. And then Emperor Ares picks up Alicia, which is an interesting pick. And honestly, there might have actually been better to pick up a related Genesis or. Yeah, Light of Genesis, um, Epsilon maybe, but he'd have some trouble with the AoE from Neo, uh, Neo, um, Neo, um, Zerda, though. It's interesting because, yeah, I think even with, even this, even in this setup, um, Gintoki could still, like, take out a Kagura. Even if she jumped in, yeah, okay, well, whatever. And then Oboro is picked up for late uh, late game pressure, and then Sissy White is picked up. Interesting. Yeah, I think Alicia is an okay pick, but I personally would have gone with uh, personally would have gone with um, Epsilon in that pick. But in any case, let's see what happens here. So yeah, it's kind of curious that Gintoki decided to go with uh, infantry soldiers rather than uh, rather than um, Lancer soldiers here because there's just a lot of cavalry units here. Yeah. One's a cavalry assassin, but he'd also have to deal with the lost him, but this lost him also doesn't have a uh, attack buff, and you'd have to get pretty close to actually use Quicksound and Devourer, which I personally don't think is a great move. Plus... Um, Sissy White could pretty easily just activate um, Gintoki's talent. But in any case, let's see what's going to happen here. So, so Oborio is just going to sit back there and um, buff up while everybody starts inching towards the center, or not. Yeah, that's kind of a mistake because uh, Winston really needs to charge forward to actually start checking some of these big threats by Oboro and uh, Neo and Neo Zerda. In any case, so Ultra Karma goes down, buffs up, and oh, and he gets a breeze. Pretty lucky. Yeah. And just the thing is, McLean Hat can control the battlefield pretty well. Huh? I wonder why he used that. Oh, it's probably to uh, drop Furious Aid. 
Man, a lot of breezes are going down. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Yeah, but Winston is playing very passively at this mo at the moment. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. Yeah, that's a very dead McLean. That was a major mistake. Yep. Yeah, because Winston uh, McLean wasn't in water; he just died. And then uh, Big Guy just moves out, and that's a pretty much a free kill for nothing. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, and then yeah, Winston's just not getting it at all. He's just very much checked by the the Ares and well, he's very much checked by the Kagura and everybody. He just can't get in to do anything. And that was just a sloppy a sloppy death on his part. Yeah, and then Winston, uh, B guy's just gonna keep moving back until the water runs out and until Oboro uh, just fully powers up. Yeah, this really isn't gonna do isn't gonna really do much. But man, that she had a lot of attack. Huh, so it looks like he's gonna try to Interesting. It looks like he's gonna try to kill uh, Kagura with the Neo Elma here. Yeah. But this might oh, that doesn't whiff. Okay. So that goes down and then Interesting. And then this is probably gonna kill off the Yeah. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, that Neo Zerda just does not have a lot of... Okay, it's Demon Slash as well, so she's not ignoring defense. Yeah, if she had a, a Stinger, she probably would have killed. Interesting. I think that was a bit of an error, but in any case... That's gonna be the first life down on Neo Zerda. Oh, she's really bulky. And then there goes his first, her first life. And then, yeah, that's a dead Neo Zerda. So that'll be pretty interesting. Okay, so... Awesome's going back in. I think he's gonna... Huh. Try to kill... Yeah, he's gonna take out the first life of Neo Elma, but that's a... Oh, that... Oh, yeah, because she, she was inflicted with... Uh, with the debuff... That debuff. So she actually just went down. Uh... Huh. Very interesting. But in any case, I think um, he's going to have some issues. Like, yeah. Yeah. Winston's going to have some issues dealing with that uh, that uh, Die Heart. Because now his, yeah, his spell is that own. Well, well, not as the spell, but his heal, uh, Kentucky's uh, heal is down, and yeah, doesn't kill, but he's very far in range of Die Heart. So yeah, he's gonna move back, and then yeah, just more footsies. Inspiration goes down, and I don't think. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, he's just gonna use the act again on Kentucky. Kentucky's gonna go in. I th think he might actually whiff this kill. Oh, never mind. That's a super dead Oboro, but that reprimand is probably going to lead uh, Kentucky to die in a second. Oh, never mind. And then that's a very dead of Die Hard. Interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised B Guy played so passively in this. But yeah, uh, Lost Ham definitely cannot 2v1 this. And yeah, lost him goes down, and the first game goes to Winston. Okay, let's see what happens uh, second game. So Winston swaps in close, decides to go for a more AOE strategy. Interesting. Yeah, so Zerdo goes down. And then, yeah, so pretty easy. Sit. Very samey uh, picks and bans right now, though. B-Guy decides to ban out 
um, Neo Elma, and then picks up his lost him for the map coverage. Loses the foot buff, and then Winston picks up his own lost him for more map coverage. Um, Clotera's banned out, and then Die Hard is picked. Yeah, that's a pretty good pick since he only has uh, pretty much Sissy White as a healer. And yeah, McLean goes down for map control. And then Alicia and Die Hard are banned for more map control banning, well, coverage, and then that also allow um, Cherry to be picked without too much issue. Okay, Epsilon is picked fourth, picked fourth, and then, okay. So Sissy White is picked last, and then I think Winston's probably gonna pick up Himiko here, yeah. Cause Epsilon buffs up for his, for his team while B guy yeah well B guy has basically enough does not have any real buffing besides die heart hmm that's kind of a mistake because Neo Zerato can actually go up can go up there and just take take him out pretty easily well okay so he's not going in with Neo Zerato quite yet Okay. Totsugeki. So yeah, looks like Winston is just creating um, space so he can get in and god, all the breezes are going down today. Anyways, um, oh shoot, one second. Looks like my APC isn't capturing anything. <sighs> one moment. There we go. Ugh. I need to double check this stuff. So, let's go back to the start, I suppose. Yeah, I'm a very professional streamer. Eh, oh well. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I'll have to play around with this a little bit. Okay, so, pretty much, um,. Everybody's getting sub. But you guys are playing fairly defensively, and all the breezes are going down <laughs> this first turn. Okay. So yeah, all the breezes are going down, and I think st action, some action is actually going to start happening here. So speed up goes down though. I think what? Oh, okay. So Sissy White is going to throw down a Lancer and throw up guard. So um, lost him can't go in and uh, just. Uh, one shot the one shot the the diehard, but McLean pretty much prevents that. Fires off his water and yeah. So diehard now has has been issue, but now we're just playing footsies, and I think B guy is gonna get a pretty large advantage in a uh, pretty large advantage once this water goes down, because at the moment the everything is kind becoming much much smaller and then yeah whoever gets the first kill is gonna probably snowball very hard so die hard does nothing ninjutsu is gonna run out fairly soon and then yep that's gonna pop uh epsilon interesting and then epsilon is just gonna get dunked by sherry and then Sherry's probably going to go in for a second kill. So. Magic Storm. Oh, and retreats back since there's not much. Yeah, there's not much uh, Winston can do to respond except hit the Zerida. But, and the Zerida loses her first life, but that's not a big deal. And then Winston just... Teleports back, but there's not really much she can do to respawn, though. Oh, that Neo Zerto is dead. Never mind. So yeah, uh, one for one trade. Anobi's really back in range, though. B guy is just gonna go in st on the Gintoki, but not kill. And then he's gonna Dune Hunt. Okay. Yeah, this Himiko really isn't doing much. It's it's kind of questionable. 
I kind of have to question her effectiveness at the moment. And then lost him, takes out the other lost him. But Sherry's gonna take out two people right here. So yeah, there's nothing. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't go for the lost him first. Because the... Himiko really isn't going to be doing much. And he still could have taken out the Gintoki from there, but maybe he just didn't want to have uh, her... Oh, didn't want to have her in range, but... Then, um... Oh, wow. Die Hard whiffs the kill. <laughs> That's kind of sad. But it doesn't really make much of a difference. Since Die Hard is just gonna... Well, Sissy White is just gonna kill her. Honestly, I think Bikai could have just uh, used that uh, used that to pogo off of po pogo off of the lost him and potentially stun in somebody, but I think he might have also just been out of range. So we're tied component, and it looks like a McLean is gonna almost assassinate the Sherry, but whiffs it, and so Sherry is traded for Himiko. And all that's left is McLean versus uh, Die Hard, which I I don't think is going to work out very well for McLean, even though he has water. Yeah, so McLean is just going to keep firing his water, and then and the Sissy White uses Act Again, and Die Hard is probably going to die. Uh, not Die Hard, but McLean is going to die here. Prodigal Sun, and then uh, McLean is also stunned. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. So, the Die Hard is also using Demon Slayer as well. So, McLean is gonna take a bunch of damage, but really kinda too late to do anything. So, McLean barely survives. Nope, he dies. <laughs> so, yeah, fairly close match. Yeah, very good playing on B-Guy and exploiting the, Epsil the Epsilon uh, misplay by Winston. So, uh, Gintoki is picked here, and then, um, hmm. yeah, Gintoki is a very common first pick. Neo Zero is picked here for the debuff and the, the um, yeah, for the debuff and the heat revive and all that stuff and then those two are banned and then what item is picked up so it looks like B guy is looking to apply a lot pressure a lot of pressure early on and yeah it doesn't look like Winston can really do much about it and I'm not too sure how effective lost him will be here since he doesn't have the speed boost available for him to actually hit uh, B guy and at the starting in the starting box Okay, but I see that's why Warner was put into Winston's box to give him a bit more range to work with. So B guy picks up uh, Emperor Ares, and then I think he's gonna pick up Sissy White here, so he can deal with the <clears throat> deal with the lost him stun <clears throat> the lost him stun and stuff. And then Lucretia has picked last, which is interesting. Oh, Guardian's Oath. So it looks like... Yeah, it looks like um, Gintoki is going to try to get um, <clears throat> get Gintoki's um, speed uh, talent up permanently by just killing off Lost Him turn one. Okay, so Lost Him is buffed up. But it's not really going to end up doing much since... Um, yeah, it's really not going to end up doing much here. Yeah, I don't really see how this can work out very well for Lostum. Okay. So... Okay, so the pup Puppet is going to die. And Lucretia is going to lose her revive here. And the extra range. It also gives B-Guy a chance to jump in with Neo Zerida as well. Yeah, so I think it's pretty much over. 
And yeah, the Kagura lives because she ha she's the right typing. And yeah, that's gonna be a very quick match. So yeah, Nero Zerodo jumps in and is probably gonna just kill off. Uh... No, and he's gonna use the act again uh, debuff. Interesting. But Neo Zero is probably gonna die off here. Interesting. Oh! And Neo Zero takes a bit of damage, and yeah. Oh! Yeah, now Wedem jumps in. And he's probably gonna get kill here. I. Tokyo. But, uh, although. Gin is. Might be. Nope, he's not dead here. But he can't heal. He's. Heal reversed, and then. Yeah. It's gonna kill off Neo Zero's first life. But. Not really gonna do much at the moment. So, yeah. Yeah. There's really not much she can do here. Neo Zero gets her revive back, and. Kagura finally goes down. So yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now B guy's just completely rolling over with Winston, and that Gintoki is gonna die fairly soon. Like once a revive goes off. Okay, so so Gintoki heals up a little bit, and he's probably gonna go hit uh, hit somebody for another, like for some more damage. But it's not really gonna amount to much at this point. <laughs> Because he's just so far behind. And then, yeah, this is going to whiff because his soldiers are defensive and. And he's not even full HP. So Heavenly Conquest goes down and then. Does massive amounts of damage and then. There's only Gen left at this point. So yeah. Gen just hits the Wedem again, finally gets a single kill. And then. And shot off side goes down and debuffs the Gin, but Gin is just won't really be able to do anything at this point because his damage is just completely shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's just plenty of play more of play more like just debuff like plenty of yeah. B guy is just so far ahead. I don't see how Kentucky is gonna be able to deal with it, and he doesn't. <laughs> And then Neo Zero wins. So yeah, I think this was a pretty good match of displaying how strong Neo Zerida is at the moment. Like, she can just jump around the battlefield incredibly efficiently and deal a lot of damage. And pretty much it's either her or Gin that are banned out, like, first nowadays, because both are just so strong. And if you don't, like, specifically build to take care of them, uh, you are probably going to have a really bad day anyways I think that was pretty good uh, I need to go back and edit the footage so there is actually footage for the first match which I forgot to record uh, so yeah thanks for dealing with that everyone and uh, have a good night and thanks for joining me I will actually upload uh, last week's video to YouTube fairly soon so I hope you look forward to that in any case have a good one bye